Yo, what's up guys? Hyrus here, and welcome back to more DDLC, Never Ending Tomorrow. Alright, I decided to make it, um, a bit earlier today, because, um, because, dude, it was like, I made it at, I don't know, 2 o'clock, so, so I decided to make it earlier while I have enough time to do some other things, so, anyways, without further ado, let's get into this. Well, back into this. It was Monday, 6th, 6th of September, where school would start. We usually have our summer breaks in August time. I hate school. <laughs> you and me both. And frankly, I'm starting, I'm starting high school, actually. During, I think, when the summer's over, I'll be a freshman. Alright. But it's something I have to attend as it opens up the door to many opportunities. That's what my parents would have wanted anyway. I tried to open my eyes ready to get out for school, but I couldn't. My eyes are glued shut. What? What the? The pain I felt all over my body has returned. My body falls limp like yesterday, not feeling a thing. I can't. <clears throat> so today is where you'll meet those affected by the curse. How will you approach this, I wonder? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I'll find my own way through your twisted games and save Suri. Such bravado from a worthless... <laughs> Such bravado from a worthless person like yourself. This is the only beginning, Hyrus. Man. You're a dick. <laughs> Suddenly, I sit up on my bed. I put my hand on top of my head. My hands on top of my head. Ugh. I keep my eyes closed, feeling the sharp pain engulf my entire body. Fuck. I, I swear, <laughs> this, this language though, come on. I forgot I'll, I'll be responsible for Sari's life. Moving my arms down in front of me, I sigh and stand up. The pain is gone. Brushing my teeth and getting ready for school. I notice a picture of Sari and I sitting on the desk. Picking, up, picking it up, I realized it was from a past time almost five years ago. Signed sadly, I place the picture into my bag and head out. Aww. Always take the memories with ya. <laughs> as I lock the door out, out of, uh, as I lock the door of my house, I start to walk down the street toward Fujima High. Fujima High is one of those schools full of and cute, sexy teenage girls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you lucky bastard. <laughs> but due to how unattractive I am, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. I'm always alone at school. Huh? I hear a voice calling out to me from behind. Figuring it was Sayori running late again, I saw next to her next to a shop to let her catch up. Iris, thank you for late waiting. I was scared you'd leave me behind. After what happened yesterday? You think I'd leave you behind? No, surprise no, surprise you, big meanie. Smiling at her, I push her playfully. Aw. Well, let's go to school. Okay. Even though every everything seemed normal, the thought of having to save lives still lingers in my mind. Are you okay, Iris? You're thinking about what happened yesterday, aren't you? I guess you can say that. It's not healthy in thinking about it all the time, Iris. <sighs> Let's just get to school. I'll be fine, don't worry. Giving her a reassuring smile, I continue to walk to school with her. <sighs> the music, come on. As we arrive at school, Sari and I split off into our own departments. I enter the history department. History what? Okay, it's the first lesson of the day. History used to be one of my favorite subjects. <laughs> In real life, no it hasn't. My, my parents love history as much as I did, if not more. They were so passionate about history. We went to different museums. We always brought souvenirs every time we went to one. 
but after my mother and father died in a brutal car accident. Why am I thinking about this? They had always hoped I would become someone who can fulfill my own dream. I wanted to have a good paying job, a family I could call my own. My mom and dad always supported me all the way. But now I have no one left to rely on but myself and Sari. I miss my parents. Without them, I just feel hopeless. I, I tr just try to ignore the thoughts of the past and continue walking. As I'm walking to the classroom, my body feels a sh sudden shock. My body starts to shake violently and my vision begins to blur. Shit! Wh why now? Falling on onto the wall, I place my hands on my head and start to breathe heavily. Sh shit! I I can't. Suddenly, my body becomes numb. I become so numb. I can't feel you, you there. Become so numb. Okay, I'm done. I fall to the ground, losing consciousness rapidly. Sh shit. Okay, can you stop saying? Sh can you stop saying the S word? Say something else. My eyes forcefully close, and I, and I, what? And my vision blacks out. Get rid of the eye next time. Ugh, Hyrus. Your trial begins here. Will you be able to cope with the amount of strain being forced upon you? Will you be able to save with yourself knowing you'll sacrifice lives for one person? Either way, you don't have a choice. I hear a voice calling out to me. It sounds distant. Who is that? Are you okay? Oh fuck, it's Monica. <laughs> I open my eyes with a bit of struggle bit of a struggle. It felt like an attorney trying to open my eyes, but once I opened them there was a cute teenage girl seated in front of me. Immediately I stand up and move far back so there was enough space between us. But wait, aren't you? It was Monica. No No dip, Sherlock. One of the most, if not the most, attractive girl in the sc entire school. She was part of the debate. Nah. She was part of the debate club last year, so it's no surprise why everyone knows her. What happened to you? Still in shock, Monica walks towards me, raising her hand towards me. You're Hyrus, right? She knows my name, but how? Y yeah, I'm Hyrus. I carefully took her offer and shake her hand. Hold on, let me just drink some water. Real quick. Much better. And you're Monica. Correct. Everyone knows me nowadays. Well, you were in the debate club. That is true. Makes sense. I've never actually spoken to Monica like this before. But the fact I'm talking to someone like her, I'm honored. Wow. I already, I'm already late for my first lesson. I should really get going. Well, before you go, I have a question for you if that's okay. As I'm about to walk to a less Dude. Dude, come on. As I'm about to walk to my my lessons, I halted by Monica. I wonder what she's gonna ask me. I'm starting a debate I'm starting <laughs> I'm starting a club called the Literature Club and just wanted to know if you're interested to take a look. Sure, I'm down for that. What did I just agree to? A literature club? I don't know how this. I don't know how to feel about this. As I agreed, a piece of paper with a room number was placed into my hand by Monica. I stare at the piece of paper, then look back at Monica to see her strike an extremely cute pose. Meet me here. Meet me there after school. See you around. As I spoke, she. As soon as she spoke, <laughs> uh, she started walking down the corridor. Corridor. Staring at Monica, walking off, I sigh lightly and head to class ready to get scolded by the teacher. <sighs> of course. After a long day of classes, the bell finally rings out. I sit at my desk looking at the piece of paper. Room B50, huh? I wonder what that room looks like. Placing the piece down, piecing the piece of paper down on onto the desk, I lean back and sigh. However, a shun 
A sudden sharp pain runs through my body again. What the fuck? My body starts to feel weak. Body, my body feels weak. My heart starts to beat hard. Ugh! The bee overrules all the voices within the classroom. However, but my vision is fine. Just as I mentioned, my vision is fine. I hear the voice in my head. Hyrus, this is where hell begins. Feeling incredibly weak, I blah, weak. I look down and try to hide my face. The only way to talk to the voice is by using my own thoughts. Oh, so now you can talk with me with. Oh, so now you can talk without making me pass out. I just wanted to tell you that your trial begins now. A sharp pain, which engulfed in my body, soon disappeared. The voice also vanished with the pain. That was easier to me in that time. Soon after the ordeal, I raise my feet and start heading towards the classroom. Out of the classroom? I follow the directions to the classroom where Monica and said she'd be. My vision begins to blur a little. My heart starts to beat faster than usual. My body doesn't hurt, though. Why doesn't my body hurt? Every time I experienced it, I would pass out after. I'm still unsure of what happened. Not caring, I rush up the stairs and look for the room quickly before it changes its mind and makes me black out. Room B50. Running through the corridor, I find the room and stopped immediately. Breathing deeply, I knock on the door and wait for an answer. Come in! Grabbing a hold of the handle, I slide the door open. Entering the room, my vision is normal again. Looking around the room first, my eyes widen as it's the same classroom like it was in my vision. I hold back my urge to feel sick. But that's not the only thing that's making me feel sick. I feel a strange vibe, but I'm not sure what it is. The first voice I hear is Monica walking and greeting me. Iris, I knew you'd make it. Hey, Monica. Glad you still remember me. In the corner of my eye, I see Sarah pop out at me. Iris? Sarah? <laughs> Shocked to see Sarah here, I quickly embrace her into a hug. I kind of knew you two would n would know each other. Welcome to the literature club. My name is Yuri. I take it your name is Harris? Yuri looks to be the oldest one here. Not just because she looks like it, her body figures. Body figures even shows that. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I saw a pink haired girl. Could she be? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh my. Great entrance. I'm a fan of manga and anime. I hope to get along with you. As I laugh nervously, I stare at Natsuki before greeting her. <laughs> nice to meet you, Natsuki. It was weird. Really weird. I felt like there was a strange connection between all of us. Staring at the room on and all the poor girls, I get flashbacks of something that hasn't happened. The flashback I see looks like Sayori. My heart stops and drops into my stomach, seeing what appears to have been Sarah being stabbed. What is this? My vision starts to flicker. Pain placing my palm on my chest. I start to feel my heart beating violently. My whole body sto stopped. I couldn't move or feel a thing. No. I can't let this happen. Otherwise, I will lose everything. This is what happened to Sayori in my world. What? No, she ha she hung herself. I wasn't strong enough to protect her. So it's time to do your damn fucking job and protect her. How about you stop with the language, dude? Seriously. Kids are probably watching this. As I escape that hellish flashback, I fall on my knees almost immediately. Placing my hand over my mouth, I try to stop myself from puking. Sarah quickly kneels down and hugs onto me. Iris, are you okay? I couldn't bring myself to speak at this moment in time. My body was frozen in place. I felt sick. Harris, something isn't right about you. Moving my palm away from my mouth, I breathe in and out tr and try to make myself t and try to get myself to feel better. God dang. Are you sure it was a good idea to bring Harris to the literature club, Monica? I'm sure he's fine. Maybe he's just sick, a little sick today. They had no idea what I'm going through right now. Wait, that voice said whoever I meet today will be affected by the curse. These girls would be affected? 
they all have lives to live. Damn. Oh, dang. And I'm about to make them lose their lives because of me. I didn't make you feel sick, did I? Regain my ability to talk after seeing the sickening sight of what seemed to be serious, seeing up still a little shaken. It's not your fault. I just feel a little sick today. All the girls except Yuri stare at me. I stare at Yuri for a second. Something doesn't feel right about her. I think it's about time I changed the subject. What should I talk about? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, ketchup, blah, 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 blah. Lurch Club. To line up, to line the mood up, I think it's best if I get to, if I ask about the Lurch Club. So this is the Lurch Club. It's about writing poems, I'm guessing. Correct. This club will help you understand how to write a poem using using your own imagination. Yep, using your imagination. I need to stop adding words to what's been said. It's time to allow freedom to write whatever you want. I mean, that's key. Says Manica. Manga is, li is literature. I don't think she quite gets what literature actually means. What do you mean man manga isn't literature? Well, it's not a form of poetry, Natsuki. Whatever. I'm sorry about that, Iris. She's just very passionate about her manga. It's not a problem to me. Manga is literature? What a girl of culture. But won't it get boring? I do admit, it gets boring at some at times, but it's a lot of fun once you start composing your own poems. Sounds interesting. How long has the club been going around for? It's only start just started today. That's why I was excited to bring you here. More members, more poems to read. I'm impressed. I'll definitely join to help you out. The moment those words escape my mouth, Suri jumps onto me. Seriously? I'm serious. That's key and... Wait, what? Yuri and Natsuki joined the conversation once they heard they once they heard me say I joined the club. Heh, you better pull your way off or you'll get a beating from me. Welcome to the club. We hope you enjoy your stay. Feeling welcomed by all the Ah, uh, I can't talk. Feeling welcomed by all the girls makes me feel good. Okay everyone. I think it's time to show Hyrus what we do here at the Literature Club. W what do you mean? Let's write a poem and show Hyrus what we can do. But I'm not very good at poetry. You don't know until you try, Suri. You may be better than I am, at least. But we have to write a poem for Hyrus? Why not? Are you worried, Yuri? A, -a, -a little. But, 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 Monica! We can do that tomorrow, right? Well, I mean, we're not exactly showing what we can do at this club right now, guys. I mean, that's not... If they're not comfortable, it's fine by me. Are you sure? Yeah, we can do it tomorrow. I guess if you say so. I just... I just... Just how awkward can this get, honestly? Looking, looking over to Yuri, she takes a glance at me and then looks away. I need to talk to Yuri. Approaching Yuri out of curiosity, I smile and bow. <sighs> oh, gozaimasu! Yuri, you're... Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you're Yuri, right? I, I am. Sorry, I'm not used to talking to p many people. Ah, you're anti-socialist. So she's the quiet type of person. I better be careful how I speak to her, then. I've been curious about you, Yuri. C curious Ever since I entered the room, a weird vibe comes from you. I'm probably am just imagining things. You're almost likely... Why do I feel weird when I talk to her? It's just... It's really weird. In stuck thought... Stuck in thought, Natsuki hits me over the head with a book. Holding my head, I see her laughing at me. Stop spacing out! Well, that wasn't nice at all, was it? Nope, but I think it's the best way to get to know you. By hitting me? Frowning at Natsuki, I grin and flick her, flick her forehead. You're so mean. Says you, you started it. Natsuki and I grunt at each other uh, while, <laughs> while Maka comes to save the day. Shouldn't be growling at each other? 
I mean, I mean, I mean, grunt sounds a bit, a bit unnatural. I mean, come on. <laughs> now, now, please don't fight. <laughs> I think it's time to head home, then, since no one wants to write a poem to, to show Hyrus. And again, Yuri is striking that pose once again. Why does my mom react, react so react badly to it? Not in a way where I want to date her, but it it's acting like something bad will happen. Harris? Uh, uh yes, Sari? Let's walk home. Yeah, sure. As I'm as I'm about to walk out of the door, I stop by your Natsuki and Yuri. Can we have your phone number? What? Say what? I don't know where I am bombarded by Yuri and Natsuki asking for my phone number. Where did that come from? Do you two like me or something? I mean, two cute girls asking for my phone number. No, no. I just wanted to talk to someone, that's all. It's not that at all. Same reason as Natsuki. Not like I have a problem with that. Alright, you both can have it. As I said, as I said that, Natsuki and Yuri light up and get close. Exchanging phone numbers, they pack up their bags and start leaving Natsuki leave. They and start leaving. Natsuki leaving first. <laughs> Natsuki walks up to me and smiles, patting me on the shoulder. Make sure to text me. <laughs> oh come on! Oh, this is so weird. Make sure to text me, Baka. Jeez, I will. Baka. As Natsuki walks out the door, Yuri follows on, but stops to say something. Text me as well. I'd love to talk to you a bit more. With Yuri, I felt uncomfortable, but in order for me to understand the situation, this was necessary, of course, to take. As Yuri left the building, the only two people left were Nat Versari and Nat Monica. <laughs> I was a Nazi. Damn it. Okay. Monica approaches me, looking worried like she wanted to talk. Monica, Monica, can I talk to you for a minute? So you knew, I came here for that. Yeah, plus, I think I'm ready to tell you. Monica and I walk out the door, but Sarah stops me by grabbing my arm. Harris, are you going to be okay? Nodding, I put my other hand on top of hers. I promise you. She nods and, as well, let me go. I'll wait for you. I'll wait here for you both. Alright. As I leave the room, we walk along a long corridor. Ugh, I need to start drinking water again. We continue until we reach a room. Oh. I thought it would just be the Just Monica room. And the music, of course. Entering the room, Monica stands in front of me and speaks. I want to know what's bothering you. Hearing her say that, I begin to get a little nervous. Closing my eyes, without fear and regret, I let it spill. I have been told that whoever I meet will die. Whoever you meet? What do you mean? I look down with guilt swelling up inside of me. I was told that I am involved in this twisted game, where whoever I meet will die, but can only save one, and I don't know why. It's hard to believe, but I know you're hurting from this, so you can, can't can be lying. Well, have you chosen who to save yet? It was serial original, originally, but I am torn between everyone and the club. I ball my hands into fists and close my eyes, not knowing how to look at Monica in the face. Tears start to roll down my cheeks. She knows how hard th this is for me, but does she believe me? Oh, jeez. Okay. She comes up close to me and close her eyes. Harris, even if you can't, if yeah. Harris, even if you can't, if you, even if you choose anyone else over me, I'll be fine. I accept death if that's what fate has in store for me. Death has been a thing I always been thinking about since I turned 16. I was alone most of the time. Monica, no one really liked me for who I am, only for how I looked. So I tend to stay away from people to avoid that ever happening. Maybe this is a chance for me to free myself from this hell of loneliness. That way I won't need to suffer either. 
my life has been meaningless. So this is a perfect opportunity to leave this life. Hearing all that, hearing all of that made me feel like shit deep down. <coughs> like telling her was wrong. Monica, you are wrong. I I embraced her into a hug, closing my eyes and feeling her warmth on my body. Um, ah, no hugging, Monica. Cutscene. I swear, once the once the full mod has been released. The full version, I mean. I hope there'll be more cutscenes. Please. I want to try and save you all, but I don't know I can. You shouldn't be thinking like that. I don't want you to die either, you know? It's just, if I don't pick you or any of the girls, I'll lose all of you instead. I need to save one. Monica hugs me tired, closing her eyes and sobbing a little. Aww. Harris, even if you don't choose me, I won't. I will not hate you. This is your choice at the end of the day, and if I'm meant to die, then so be it. Monica, I will always respe respect your decision, no matter what. I know you're trying so hard to do your best, but if I'm not your choice, I'll be okay, Iris. Her, hearing her say that makes me burst into tears. Monica! <laughs> hugging her tighter, hugging her... Hugging tighter into her, she smiles and strokes my hair to try and comfort me. No matter the outcome, you did well to save and... Uh, you you did well to try and save a life. Uh, I swear, I need to edit some of these out, like... So that way, I don't have to, like, stutter for how... Like, stutter on how I say or read things. I won't be mad, I won't be angry or sad. Isn't mad... And angry at the same category of emotions, her voice starts to show some form of sadness. If I die, I can finally see my own family. She lost her family too? Oh, dang. Monica, you lost your family? She went quiet after I asked her. She went quiet after I asked that question. I look at her and see her hair covering her eyes. Tears roll down her cheeks. Placing my hand on her cheek, I lightly, lightly, <laughs> lightly wipe away her, the tears. You know, I lost my family too. Y you did? Yeah, they died in a car accident six years ago on the 4th of September. When it happened, that prioritized my life before their own lives. <laughs> Iris, I'm in pain remembering the times. They... I went silent for a moment, trying to compose myself. Okay, I'm just gonna stay silent for a, a second, so that way I can uh, hydrate myself. I had a few tears in my eyes, but I stopped myself from crying. Looking up to her, I smile and close my eyes. They did what they thought was right, to protect me, and to let me live a life full of dreams to fulfill. A life full of dreams to fulfill. I finally said a thank you. My parents said the exact same thing. My parents were the best. I bet if your parents were the best, they would have told you the same things my parents did. Monica was shook by but what I said. She starts to break down. I embrace her. Embrace. <sighs> I embrace her into a comforting hug, stroking her hair back in return the sign. My mom, she passed away only two years ago, from cancer. Of course. Okay, I'm 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 not making fun of cancer, but everyone died by cancer. Everyone, everyone, almost everyone. So, I guess that's a, I get. Okay, I want to blame for the, ch for the choice of death. So I want. So, anyways, my dad died from an accident. He died from getting hit by a car when he was on his way home. Just like my parents. All in the same year. I'm so sorry, Monica. Ever since, I wanted to die. I don't know what to think, but I know I have to be there for her. Ugh. Remember, I'm here for you. If you need to talk to anyone, count on me to lend you my ears. I understand the pain of losing family, so I can really re relate. Dang it. Monica looks up at me. I just smile with a cheesy face, and she giggles. Oh, isn't 
Isn't it a cheesy smile, the one with your eyes closed and smile with your teeth showing? I don't know. This is why I can see. This is why I can see myself spending my life with you. But it's fine if you don't. Moving away from the hug, she smiles. I really like you, Hyrus. Thank you for making me feel better. I feel my cheeks warming up. I'm blushing. No. 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 Oh no. 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 Uh. Uh. No, I only have one, one girl I'm, I'm destined to give my life to, and that is Siri, not you. But still, I am, I'm blushing. No, no need to thank me. Let's head back. As we, okay, why does my foot itch? My foot itches. As we walk back into the classroom, where Sori, say, Sori, where Sori was, she hugs me. You feeling better now, Hyrus? I nod my head and hug her back in return. He, he's told me about the situation he's in. I assume you know too, Sari. She nods her head and looks down. She starts to sob a little. I don't want anyone to die. I feel the same way, but Hyrus decides our fate. I feel guilty, but I have to choose who to save or I will lose all. Sari steps to the side. Monica walks up to me and. Hands me her number. Text me when you can, okay? I nod and hug her again before she leaves. Aww. As Monica walks out the door, it's just Sari. It just leaves Sari and I. Let's go too, Hyrus. Yeah. Looking back, as I walked out of the classroom, I closed my eyes and sighed before walking back home. As we sp spoke about different things, she, Sarah met, mentions the event that happened earlier. About earlier, did Monica say anything about wanting to be saved? No, she didn't. It said she wanted to die. No way! But I cleared it up with her now. She nods and gives me a hug. See you tomorrow, Hyrus. I'm oh, sorry. She nods and heads off. With that sad smile? No, with that sad look? No, no. As she walks off, I look down and sigh. <sighs> Time to head in, I think. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. As I see that image pop up right in front of me, I fall to my knees and breathe heavily. What? What was that? My vision starts to go fuzzy. Holding my hand to my mouth, I resist the urge to puke, but it was becoming too much. Sarah's face! Grabbing a bag from my drawer, I quickly open it up, but my mouth put my mouth in the bag and start and throw up. My body felt really weak after seeing that. As I coughed, blood escaped my mouth as well. What's going on? I hear a voice. It's your life is at risk. Also, what? What do you? What? What? What do you mean? As it seems, your body couldn't take the amount of stress you're handling. You have until the fist falls to save someone. Save one. N no Judgment, last chance. Well, since it's gonna be like a short Well, since it's gonna be like short, so um I guess I can um continue playing. Ugh, what happened? Working in progress. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> Wait, no, I'm getting my work. Are you literally serious? Uh, come on! That was the shortest freaking eps. That was the shortest freaking. That was so short. Oh my god. Okay, I guess that's the it. That's the end of the demo. Dang. That actually sucks. I want to play more. But I guess I have to wait until the full version releases. So, with that note, I guess I can just say, um, thanks so much for watching this. If you liked it, subscribe, like, and, um, if you guys are, like, if you guys really like me that much, you can, you can, I don't know, you can guys can just send some fan art 
if you like. I went I went mine either way, so anyways. But god dang though, that was so short. Like I wanted to play a bit longer. I mean like it's only been like thirty three no thirty five minutes and god dang. Ah, uh, I am so freaking jealous. No, I'm so f no, I mean mad. Ah, uh, from reading that much, I can't even say words. I can't even say the right words. It's like pushing out some drawing ideas, but you can't get them out since if you try to push them out forcefully, then you get some random ideas. So, on that note, I guess I can just say, ah, man. Okay. Well, anyways, thank you so much for for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video of. Doki Doki Literature Club. Later.